guys, welcome to the Big Brother Canada house guests and house reveal video. Woo! So, if you're new to my videos, my name is Maddie. I've been doing these spoiler videos about Big Brother US since I want to say season 8. And uh, it's kind of an obsession. So, <laughs> a lot of people have been ranting and raving about Big Brother Canada season 1, and now season 2 is about to start next week. A lot of people have been asking me if I'm going to do spoilers for it. At first I was like, no, because it's a lot of work. And during the summer when Big Brother is on, it takes over. But so many people have said how great Big Brother Canada is. So I'm going to give it a try. And if you guys enjoy the spoilers, if you're all watching them, I will keep doing them. If not, I might have to abandon ship. But I'm hoping you guys will enjoy them and keep watching them. So, let's start off by talking about the house this season. There is a lot of red. I mean a lot. That could cause a lot of rage in the house if you're into psychology. But um, it looks like everyone's going to be sleeping in one bad room, except for the HOH, who will be in a luxurious blue and green color palette. And um, there seems to be kind of like a circular design theme going on downstairs. There's a circular sectional couch in the living room. The whole kitchen is like this circle. Um, there's this gorgeous long dining room table for them to feast on. I don't think it's gonna look like that for long. They have it all nice and set up, but it's not gonna look like that after day one. Um, the bathroom looks like a, an amazing spa. And then out in the backyard, they have the pool and the hot tub. Woo! Alright, so let's talk about the house guests. I'm going to be pretty brief with each one because there's like 14 or whatever and I don't want this to be hours long. So overall, it's a pretty young crowd again. There's only two house guests that are over 30. So if you're looking for variety, this might not be the place. So uh, just a warning. I don't know how to say a lot of these names, so if I pronounce them wrong, I'm so sorry. And you can put the connect, connect, bleh, correct pronunciation in the comments if you're really offended by it, and I will apologize. So first up, um, from Edmonton, Alberta, 27 years old, Adele El Siri. I'm sorry. Uh, he's a welder and an inventor. That's interesting. And from his bio. <laughs> He said, and I quote, he can't spell or read worth a damn. Really? Who filled out your bio for you? That's alarming, but I'm hoping that that's a sense of humor coming out. We'll see. I mean, I feel like we will know after the first few minutes if that's true or not. But he also said that he's very aggressive, and I think that we can maybe look for him to make a guy's alliance. I think he's very, like, testosterone, so I think that'll be something to watch out for. Uh, Andrew Gordon, also 27, he's from Calgary, Alberta. He's a restaurant manager, and he, des he describes himself as a gentle giant. I just have all this stuff to get through, and when I look at it, I can't talk anymore. He's a gentle giant, and he's good with people because he works in the hospitality business. I think he's going to be one to watch because he seems really down to earth and like he's good with people and that's important in a, a social environment like this. So I think he's got a good shot at going really far in the game. Anik Gervais, 28, from Hanmar, Ontario. Also, I'm American. <laughs> so my knowledge of Canada is slim. Okay, we'll leave it at that. So Anik is a Reiki master. And it just screams to me, Alyssa? Alyssa Slater? Is that you? She says that she's spiritual and eclectic, and she wants to win so that she can start her own healing center. She is going to be the Luna Lovegood of the group. Like I said, Alyssa Slater, I can't do yoga without my yoga mat. Or, like Ashley from a couple seasons ago, who would make her dream boards and was just on her own planet. Um, next up, Arlie Shaban, Shaban, 25, from Claremont, Ontario. He's unemployed, but he said, don't you worry, because I'm treating this experience like a job. Good to know, Arlie. Um, he's definitely like a student of the game. He's studied past seasons and past winners, and it seems like he's really into the mental aspect of 
aspect of the game. I think he's really going to play some mind games with people, and he's trying to be the next Dr. Will or Dan Giesling, one of those. But you know what? A lot of people go in saying that, and then they crash and burn because they try to do too much too early, and it freaks people out. So I think if he can keep it under control in the beginning, he might have a shot. If not, he's out. All right, moving on to Heather Decksheimer, 23, from Barhead, Alberta. She is a model agency coordinator, and she loves Rachel Riley. Guess what? <laughs> Floaters, grab a life vest, Kristen. That's what I think of every time I hear Rachel Riley. So the sad thing is that she wants to use this experience to jumpstart her acting and modeling career. Ugh one of those I know that's never a good thing on this show those people are usually out of control ridiculous and they tend to know nothing about the game and it can get a little tiring but you never know next up Aika Wong from she's not from 29 she's 29 and she was born in Jamaica but she lives in Thornhill Ontario she's a hairstylist and she's also a mom she's got two sons but she says that she's not the typical cookie cutter mom that's been on this show so I think she's got a really strong personality from reading her bio, and I think she's going to be really fun to watch. So I think she's one of my early favorites. Next up, we have John Party from Clarenville, Newfoundland. He's 23 years old, and he's a student. He seems really youthful and goofy. Emphasis on goofy. And he's also a sloppy baby. He said in his bio that he's kind of a pig around the house. So that's not going to make a lot of friends. Um, but game-wise, I think he's got a good strategy. He's ready to go with the flow, which is so important in this game because everything can change at the drop of a hat. So I think that's a good mindset to go in with. Next up, Kenny Brain, 25 years old, from Grand Falls, Windsor, Newfoundland. He's a model. But I'm, like, really confused because <laughs> he's got this giant beard. It looks like Spencer from Big Brother 15 dropped a bunch of weight and re-auditioned and got on the show again. Um, I'm really curious what he models. Does he, like, model for a lumberjack supply catalog? Is it, like, a, a Santa thing? Like a skinny Santa? I don't know. But... <laughs> I don't know many models that have beards like that, so I guess it's cool. Um, but he is admittedly a crier. I think it's going to be really interesting. I know what you're saying, man. I'm a crier, too. I cry during, like, every movie and commercials. So it's. I think it's going to be really interesting to see how he does. Next up, 24-year-old Kyle Shore from Porter's Lake, Nova Scotia. This guy, uh, under occupation, he put personal trainer and picking up the ladies downtown. Yes, he actually wrote picking up the ladies downtown under his occupation. First of all, are you getting paid for this? Are you a male prostitute? <laughs> um, second, I know you're joking, but you just sound like a, a major douche bee. And third, only ladies downtown downtown. All right. And his strategy is to hold back and slowly unleash the douchebag. I got all messed up. Yeah. He's going to hold back and then slowly unleash the douchebag. He knows he's a douchebag. You know what I have to say? Jesse, go home, Mr. Pectacular. This guy is a total tool. He's like one of those utility tools that has like five different settings or whatever. He's so annoying already, and I hope that he goes home early. Did I just say that? Okay. Next up, Nada Kalantar from Vancouver, British Columbia. She's 22 years old, and she's a freelance fashion stylist. I found this kind of interesting. She said that she hates people who don't have manners, but she is admittedly blunt and has no filter. That kind of sounds a little hypocritical. Like, I know there's a difference between not having manners and telling it like it is, but the no filter thing can be really rude. So I think she's definitely going to bring the drama. I don't think she's going to hold back, and it's going to be interesting. Next up, 43-year-old Paul Jackson. He was born in South Africa, but he lives in Toronto, Ontario, and he's a consultant and motivational speaker also a dad, and he's got three kids at home. This guy seems 
uh, I'm a little concerned by his bio, let's say. He's talking about how he wants to please the crowd that's watching and he wants to make a connection with Canada. But it kind of just sounds like he wants to get famous when you say things like that. Because, like, I don't know. I don't. I just don't think it's a good idea to go into the house thinking, like, I'm here to please my country. <laughs> like, uh, it's just... It screams, like, wh when is my career starting after this? I don't know. But next up, uh, Rochelle Diamond, 20, from Edmonton, Alberta. She's a student, and she sounds a little nutso. She's very loud, it seems like, and she's planning on toning herself down. A lot of people say that, and then you get in there, and they go crazy. So we'll see. But I could totally see the fights unfolding between her, Nada, and Heather. I think they're going to be like, Wah! a couple of cats in a bag. Um, we'll see. Next up, Sabrina Abate. She's 25 from Montreal, Quebec. She is also a hairdresser, and she is also a makeup artist. I'm sorry, but she is just screaming Big Brother 15 Amanda to me, and that is really scary because I can't live through that again but she's got a big personality she's loud and she's been known to get hangry so don't put her on slop um, again I think she's gonna be she's gonna be a lot of drama for everyone else because I think she's got a spicy attitude um, and last but not least Sarah Miller she's 32 from Osgood Ontario she's a mortgage broker and she is married with two daughters and she seems really cool. I mean, she seems like one of the most normal ones of the bunch. Uh, she said in her bio that she's a prankster, so that's going to be fun to watch. And um, I think if she can, like... I think one of her issues might be, like, connecting with some of the younger contestants, because that's always an issue, especially when there's only, like, two older people in the house. So I hope that she doesn't get isolated from everyone else. But um, I think she's got a good shot if she can overcome that. And I thought I saw that there's going to be one more house guest, and it's like a surprise, but I don't know who it is. So I guess we'll find out when the show starts on March 5th. And I want to know from you guys, um, now that you've seen and heard a little bit about the new cast, who are your favorites, who do you want to leave immediately, and who do you think has a good chance? So let me know in the comments, and... Um, let me know if you're excited for the new season, because I want to see if you guys are excited to watch the spoilers or not. Um, so let me know. And until next time, much love. Two, edit. 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 Edit.